Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday, Election Day, here in Connecticut. Life's good, campers. Life is good. I got a very, very cool clip in the uh, in my email. Drozdov plays broils. Okay, got a lot to talk about. All right. All right, let me honk a little bit. I have played some. I got my trumpet back. My trump is back, and it'll save my reputation. I'm so cool. Anyway, uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow because there's something to be said for that. But, uh, yeah, I want to talk about this. Two of my favorite people, Nick Drozdoff and Mel Broyles. Let me honk a little bit. We'll see what we got. tone, the purity of the sound, the ease that it makes, that it takes to get all those, it, it's just like night and day with the Getson. Anyway, play a little E flat. I've had my Calet trumpet. And I talk a lot about taking days off and it doesn't, why? Because I'm not, I'm not doing anything wrong when, it, when I'm just taking days off. I didn't take days off. I was playing without my proper equipment. That's a different thing. We'll talk about that tomorrow. But anyway, Melbourne, let's so start with that. And I've done, I've done several videos on all, all, both these guys. But Mel goes without saying, I consider him the greatest, if not one of the greatest of all time. Uh, but also, guys, he was a certifiable genius. Like Vacchiano, like Jerry. Guys, this guy could do anything. He graduated from West Point. I mean, went through that with honors, the whole nine yards. Guys, but he has several books out in his writing and his arranging. And guys, his calligraphy which you don't have any use for anymore. Back in the day, it was the most gorgeous, it was a work of art, his calligraphy. He would write reams and reams and stacks of music for the guys. Everything from, you know, orchestral excerpts, everything from Parsifal to uh, the Jackie Gleason theme. Uh, James Bond. I mean, Ace, you know, this is, this, this is a lick from uh, Electra that never gets in the, uh, never, never gets in the, uh, never gets in the excerpt book. Check this out. And it's just gorgeous calligraphy. I mean, with a fountain pen. I mean, just beautiful. Anyway, he could do anything. But he has written some books. And a lot of guys, at least back in college days, complained about the books because he was the only one that, that could play them. <laughs> They were all but useless to the average player. Uh, but anyway, that would be Mel. But anyway, let's go to Nick, and I've talked about Nick a lot. But I'll tell you what, guys. This is one of the best trumpet players in the country. I, I mean, he just is. <clears throat> I'm going to give you a hypothetical. <clears throat> Complete and total hypothetical. Let's just say my friend from uh, Vegas, Dave, calls me up in a tizzy. Ralph, you got to help me out. We, we got this convention in town, and Celine Dion's over here, and everybody's working. And I need somebody for Saturday night. Call Nick. Yeah, but I need somebody to play really strong lead. Call Nick. There's a couple jazz things. Can, can you do a Dixie? Call Nick. Yeah, but can, I, I might need some brass quintet type thing as well. Call Nick. 
I'd love to put in some Bill Chase things. Quick, call Nick. Guys, how many guys now? First of all, how many guys in the world can do what I just said? Now, did a tour with Maynard, freelances around Chicago. That involves some things with uh, Hagstrom and the Chicago Symphony and, and all that sort of stuff. Guys, this is a talented guy. On top of it, he's a physics professor. He's a physics professor. So, you know, I talked the other day. I got the physical part. He's got the physics part. I, I mean, it's... Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Now, what I'm doing here and putting this in is the crazy thing is this fanfare he is doing on C trumpet. On C trumpet. Okay? He can play pick, the B flat, forget about it, flugelhorn. Okay? All on one mouthpiece. All on one mouthpiece. Now, we could name some top guys that could do everything I just described. There's no question. Perico could do it. Deliber could do it. Herb Smith from the Rochester Philharmonic can do it. But what do they all have in common? They're all playing it on one mouthpiece, a 1SB. Deliber jumps it back before the 1SS and the 1SB. Okay, so I'm going to say how many guys in the world can play what I just said earlier, Perico's hypothetical gig. Nobody in the orchestras can, except Herb Smith. Okay? And I don't want to get into name calling. But, can anybody do it on one mouthpiece? Nope. <laughs> nope. And again, I don't want to get into name calling, but there's guys out there that say you need six. There's guys out there that, that uh, oh, you got to buy my, my orchestral model and you got to change them. No. Every trumpet, same mouthpiece. It is an absolute masterpiece in mouthpiece design, never before done in the history of trumpet. And the fact that Nick could get these two entities together and join up with my idol, Mel Broyles, I, I just think is, and it's, it's so centered, pure, brilliant, in tune, all in a C trumpet. And for the most part, B flat is his thing now. That's where he's doing the bulk of his, his stuff. Guarantee you, he sends the same thing to Hagstrom, he's going to love it too. Is Hag Hagstrom retired? Doesn't matter. Different video. Different video. I want to do one on uh, Batayan as well. Okay? Uh, but anyway. So that's that. Guys, check it out. Uh, leave your rave reviews. Nick would want to hear that. Okay? Guys, he was one of the most adamant, adamant, true power guys I've ever had. Guys, he just started off a little tepid. Dipping his toe in the in the uh, in the in the shallow end, but when he got it, it through his mind that this is going to work for him, he he went after it, man. He went after it, man. He's got a juicer. He changed his diet. He's riding a bike. He's doing kettlebells. Uh, forget the relaxed corners and, and all that sort of stuff, and doing everything on on, on one mouth, guys. Double C's and beyond. Beautiful lyrical tone in the middle register, rich. Yes, his talent allowed him to do that. But so did this. Nobody, I don't care what mouthpiece you have, and unless you have this, you're not doing that. And one of the highest compliments Mel could ever give. I'm telling you, Nick, I know him well enough to know if he heard that, he'd say, Ace. You keep playing like that, they're going to kiss your ass. <laughs> For Mel Boyles, doesn't get any better than that. Okay, guys, have a great day. We'll talk again tomorrow. Vote. Love you all. Okay.